let's discuss lead placement now. So remember we're doing five lead telemetry, so we'll be applying five electrodes to the patient's chest. I've placed the date on each electrode so that I know when they were applied and we'll have the understanding that within 24 to 48 hours, these electrodes need to be changed so that the gel remains fresh and transmits a clear signal. The first electrode that we'll place is on the right arm. So we're going to focus on an area below the clavicle and on the patient's upper chest near where the shoulder meets the torso. So I'm going to peel the backing off of my lead. I'm going to place it down in the spot I've selected that I've also prepped with soap and water and clipped any hair out of the way. The left arm goes in the same place on the left side of the patient's body. The lower leads, the right leg and left leg leads are going to go below the patient's rib cage. So I just need to identify where my patient's rib cage ends. I'm going to palpate. I'm gonna feel for an area that isn't over bone or anything hard. And I'm going to place my electrode down there. Of course, the left lead is going to go directly opposite below the rib cage on the left hand side in the same position. The last lead I need to place is my V lead. So I have two options for my V lead. My first option and the one I'll use most often is going to be for it to go in the V1 position. The V1 position is the fourth intercostal space right of the sternal border. So I need to palpate down on my patient, feeling for the intercostal spaces. Remembering that the first intercostal space comes below the clavicle. So I'll palpate down, feeling for the fourth intercostal space. Generally, it's in alignment with the nipple line running horizontally. I'll feel for that. I'm gonna feel for my patient's sternum as well because I don't wanna place the lead directly on top of the sternum. I want to place it just to the right side over some squishy skin. So I'll place V1 here. If my patient has had a sternotomy and they have an incision running up and down their sternum, I need to move this lead to a different location. I won't be placing it on V1, I will be placing it on V6. So in that case, the lead for the V area is going to go on the fifth intercostal space that's generally below the breast area. And I'm going to palpate down and feel for that space and it's going to go in the mid axillary line. So I'm gonna have my patient lift up their arm. I'm going to locate the mid axillary area and I will be palpating down to find the fifth intercostal space. Remembering that the ribs swoop up slightly as they come into the spinal column. So it's going to be on a slight angle upward and I'm going to put that lead in the mid axillary line to avoid the incisional area up here. So that will be your placement if your patient has a scar or a dressing or an incision running up and down the chest.